My name is Dustin. I'm a teacher from Seattle, Washington. During lockdown this last year, I was inspired to plan a motorcycle trip with one simple but ambitious goal, to meet as many people from around the country as I could and to ask them all the same three questions. Where did you grow up and what was that like? Where do you live now and what's it like? And where do you want to see yourself in the near future? It was a mentally and physically taxing journey involving record heat, rainstorms, a lot of bugs, and navigating the country in the wake of a pandemic. Despite these challenges, even complete strangers opened up when I showed interest in their stories. Over here, people, people say like, uh, once the street lights come on, you better be home. We didn't have street lights, so like, <laughs> that didn't apply to us. I grew up in Presho, South Dakota at a okay. fucking motel. That's yeah. what I did. And there were patterns in their responses that transcended location, age, race, class, and more. My favorite place that we ever lived was a little farm with like two acres, and my dad always had gardens growing up. Like, I guess it's kind of like my sanctuary. I grew my first garden with my dad there. I mean, we still have our, our chickens, and yeah. we have our pet rabbit and stuff, and we have tomatoes and you know, blueberries and stuff. The fact that redwoods can talk with each other through their roots, and when one's thirsty, the other one will feed it. That's the kind of stuff I want to learn about. I like to live a life where I don't have to take a vacation from. And I've lived that life before. It's just, uh, it just takes some hard work. But like the intent is like you're trying to grow to a certain point and it sucks. Like, but the thing about growth is if it doesn't suck, you're not doing it right. When they say that they've lived here since they were born, I tend to ask, is that because you love this place or is it because there's something keeping you here. It was the longest and most exhausting trip I've ever done, but it was also the most beautiful. Connecting with so many people filled my soul in a way that I've never felt when simply bouncing from national park to national park. I began to see how across the United States, despite our differences and distances, and for better or for worse, we are all in community with one another. If you'd like to experience the journey for yourself, I hope you'll subscribe and come along for the ride.